While the sky is still damp, I'm going to move along quickly and begin working in my trees. Again, with cobalt blue in my large 2-inch flat, I'll begin working in the tree colors on the far left side. I'll work towards the green as I move towards the right. Whoops, too heavy there. I'll quickly add some water to the brush. I'll use a darker green as I approach the right side. And I'll fill in the left side better. And I'll mimic the same colors in the reflection. I'll darken the greens as I approach the ground too. I'm going to sprinkle on some table salt to promote a texturing effect. Salt works great for foliage effects. And I'll adjust the reflection colors a bit more. As the painting begins to dry but is still very damp, I'll begin working in some palm shapes with the top edge of my flat brush. These colors will flare out a bit as the paper still has considerable moisture in it. For the palms on the right side, I'll use the more vivid phthalo green. And with my rigger, I'll pull up some pine tree shapes pulling up, then literally smashing on the pine branches. I'll loosely mimic the colors in the reflection below. For the more distant pine trees, I'll use cobalt green. You can see that I'm trying not to get a solid wall of green. I want some variation of greens and I want their values to lean darker towards the right side. Next with some cobalt blue, I'll add some undershading, shade coloration to imply the areas below and beyond the trees. And before the painting dries, I'll pick up some dirt colors to work into the shoreline. 